Assalamualaikum and hi everybody. So, first topic is all about numbers. Okay guys, let's focus on introduction to numbers. There are two types of numbers, real number and complex number. The real number is used to describe the quantities, for example, salary, height, student number. Meanwhile, complex number cannot describe the quantities. Okay, next focus on real number. So, two types under real number. First one is rational number. Second is irrational number. So, rational number, any number that can be made by diving an integer with an integer. For example, 0 0.23, negative 0 0.6, 1 over 4. Meanwhile, irrational number, a number that cannot be written in a fraction form. For example, pi square root 2 square root 3 okay next focus on rational number integer and non-integer so integer all negative and positive numbers non-integer for example negative 2.2 1 over 4 2 1 over 3 so any in decimal form or fraction form like this so that one is non-integer but look at here this one in fraction form but 4 over 2 you can solve to integer which is equal to 2 okay so under integer there exists whole number and negative number so whole number at least zero so zero one two and then negative number it has negative sign okay next natural number and zero so this one under whole number so natural number all positive numbers and last one even number and odd number so this one under natural number so that one is all about the numbers okay let's try to do this quick chat question determine whether each of the following statements is true or false first question all natural numbers are whole numbers is it true or false so where is whole number here whole number and then where is natural number here therefore the answer is true second question all integers are natural numbers so where is integers here integers and then where is the natural number here natural number so is it true or false the answer is false next question all irrational numbers are real numbers so irrational numbers here and then real numbers is it true or false so the answer is true and then next question all real numbers are integers so real numbers and then integer true or false so the answer is false Let's try another question. So this one, you need to find the numbers from the given set. First question, irrational numbers. So irrational number, 
a number that cannot be written in a fraction. So the answer is 3 pi and square root of 2. Next question, integers. So integers means that all negative and positive numbers. So the answer is 0, 1 plus square root 9 over 2 and then negative 2, 5, 4. Let's proceed to the forms of numbers. There are four types of forms of numbers. First one is decimal, means that any number written using a decimal point. 0 0.2, 0 0.05, 2.45. There exists a decimal point. So that one is decimal form. Next fraction so we will use fraction notation numerator and denominator for example 1 over 2 third form percentage so percentage based on part of 100 and the sign used is percent for example 20 out of 50 means that 40% and last one is standard form so standard form the general form to be used is a times 10 power of b for example 2150 in the standard form equal to 2.15 times 10 power of 3 Let's try to get the first example. So from decimal form to the fraction form, 5 over 4. And then to the percentage form, you just from decimal to percentage times 100. So the answer is 1 to 5%. And then from decimal to the standard form, here, the answer is 1.25 times power 0. So, 1.25 here, only one number before decimal point. So, here, one point. Only one number, therefore, here, one point. No change of decimal places that's why here times 10 power 0 ok so you can use calculator to convert let's say for second example from decimal form 2.45 ok so this one original question 2.45 Convert to fraction here. So, fraction. Okay, so this one in mixed number. You may also write the fraction in mixed number. So, this one in improper fraction. So, 49 over 20. And then, also can use calculator to calculate percentage just times 100 equal okay so 245 percent and then last one convert to standard form here okay press mode 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 until you find sci so press number two so decimal point here is three decimal point so press three so 3, 2.45, then equal. So you got 2.45 times 10 power 0. So same as here. It's easier if you can use 
calculator to convert this form. So third example from fraction to decimal just divide. 3 divided by 5 equal to 0 0.6 and then 2 percentage form here 0 0.6 times 100 percent so the answer is 60 percent and to standard form so here only one number before decimal point so this one zero should be at least number one one two three four five six seven eight or nine so here six point zero so six point zero means that the point moved to the right so six point zero but the original point is at the left side that's why here is 10 power negative 1. Okay guys, now let's try to solve this example using calculator. So from the original question, which is in fraction form. So here, 1, 11 over 25. Then when you want to convert to decimal form, press here. So you got 1.44. Okay, next. Next is you want to convert to percentage form just times 100 here. Okay, equal. So the answer is 144%. And last one, to standard form, press mode. Okay, so SCI number 2. So how many decimal here is 3 decimal. Okay, then 1.44 equal. So the answer is 1.44 times 10 power 0. So same as here. So now you can solve all this question easily by using calculator. Please try. Let's proceed to example 5. So this one from percentage form 7.5% to decimal form 0 0.075. So this one original question 7.5% so, 7.5 divided by 100. So, answer is 0 0.075. Then, to the fraction form, you just convert to fraction form. 7.5 over 100. So, over 100, convert to fraction form. 3 over 40. And last one, to standard form from decimal form so from decimal form 0 0.075 so point right here 1 2 so 1 2 means 10 power 2 positive or negative the original point here is left side therefore this one become negative 2 so the answer is 7.5 times 10 power negative 2. Okay guys, next example from standard form 1.85 times 10 power 3 to decimal form 1850.0. So when you use calculator, substitute 1.85 times 10 power 3, you will get 1850 but remember this one is in decimal form so decimal form make sure at a point zero okay next fraction form so same as decimal 
fraction must be in the form of A over B. Numerator and denominator. So, 1850 over 1. And last one, percentage. So, percentage just times 100. So, final answer for percentage form is 1850000%. Okay, so you may try on your own to do this quick chat question. How to convert from decimal, fraction, percentage and standard form. At the end, you can check all the answers. Okay guys, that's all about the numbers. Next, we will focus on operation of numbers. Assalamualaikum.